Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this granny square here. It's kind of, it's two granny squares sewed together. So you make this colored part first, and then the black piece is made separate, and then it's sewed on to give it that double 3D effect, I guess. But it's actually pretty easy, as long as you can do the basic stitches, I think it's it's not really that hard to do. So let's go ahead and get started. It is about five inches across. It's about a five inch granny. Okay, I wanna say a special thanks to Hobium for providing today's yarn that I'm using for this project. Today I'm using their Kar Karatopu line. I love cotton. It's a 100% uh, cotton and it is a lightweight three yarn. There's 250 yards in uh, one of these skeins. And here are the colors. Now I'll put a link below in the description to where you could get this yarn. And if you look on there, that this they have all different colors of this cotton yarn. It's really actually, it's pretty nice yarn. Um, like I said, it is a lightweight three, but it's soft. So you could use it for like a baby item or something. It's a soft cotton. It's not, it's not stiff like a so and all the colors that they have were really pretty vibrant so but you can use any colors that you want you know for this granny square or whatever but yeah to go ahead and check out hobium i'll put a link below to where you could check out their website they got all kinds of pretty yarns to choose from and then i'm going to be using a size h which is a five millimeter crochet hook and I want to take a second to ask you not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you look in the description box of this video or any of my video, you will see an auto subscribe link. If you just click on that link, you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my updates. So we're going to start off with a chain of four. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring like that now we're going to chain one that chain one does not count as a stitch now we're going to work four double crochets through the center of the ring so go yarn over and go right through the center drop a loop and do your double crochet four times so that's one two, three, and four. Then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to go back through the center of the ring again and work four more double crochets. Chain two again. Might need to slide your double crochets over. Four more doubles. Chain two again. And four more doubles. One more time here. Just like that. Now I'm going to end by putting a half double crochet into the top of the first double crochet over here. And that's kind of acting as a chain space. So now we should have four sets of four double crochet. So since we did that half double crochet right there, we're kind of starting right here in the middle of this chain space. So we're going to start row two or round two by chaining one. 
and we're going to work right through this chain space here. And we're going to work two double crochets. chain of two and two more double crochets now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch across until I get to my next chain two space so you should be working one double in the next four stitches Now in this chain two space, we're going to do the corner again. So we're going to put two double crochets. Chain of two. And two more doubles into the same chain space. Again, one double crochet in every stitch until you get to your next chain two space here. So there should be four double crochets there. Put one double crochet in each of them. Chain two space, we work two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles one double crochet in every stitch to the next chain two space Another corner here, this chain two space, we work two doubles, chain two and two doubles. One double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end here. And we're going to end round two by slip stitching into the top of our first double crochet. Like that. And now you'll have a total of 32 stitches. So there'll be eight stitches in between each of the chain two spaces. I'm going to switch colors here. You know, you can switch colors whenever you want, but I always tie off when I switch colors. This is easier for me that way. So I'm going to tie that off. And I'm going to bring in my next color. And I'm going to start in any one of the uh, chain two spaces. I usually start opposite corner opposite from the one I just Ended in that way I can hide the tails easier If that makes sense and sew them in better Okay, just go ahead and start in any of the chain two spaces And we're gonna chain one now we're gonna go right back into that chain two space and we're gonna work two doubles Chain two and two doubles. And now it's just one double crochet and every stitch across until you get to your next chain two space. And always remember to get this first one. 
sometimes it'll hide underneath these corner stitches pull them back and make sure you get that one otherwise your square will be lopsided Okay, then when you make it to your next chain two space, it's the same, it's two doubles. A chain of two, and then two more doubles into the same chain space. And we're just gonna repeat what we're doing all the way around until we get back to the beginning. This is just a basic granny one double in every stitch until you get to your next chain two space and then it's two doubles chain two two doubles and repeat that pattern until you get back to your starting point okay i've made it around at the end of round three and you should have 48 stitches now and you just want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet now i'm going to switch colors again You don't have to if you don't want. I always tie off here. I'm going to bring in, do one more row here. It's actually done the same way as the previous row. Start any chain two space. Like I said, I always start opposite from where I ended. And chain one, go back into the same stitch, that same corner space, and work two doubles, chain of two, and two more doubles, and now it's just one double. And every stitch until you get to your next chain two space. Next chain two space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, one double in every stitch. So we're just repeating what we did in the previous row one more time with a new color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this round up and I'll meet you right back over here at the beginning. Okay, I've made it all the way around. Now of round four, 64 stitches now. And with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. And now we're going to tie off. You should have 16 stitches in between each of your chain two spaces. Okay, tie that off. You can hide any tails you have. But see, it's just the basic granny there. That, that's what goes on the bottom of the square. And then we do the black part separate. A lot of those I hid while I was crocheting. Okay, so I'll set that to the side. And we'll start working on the black part. And again, you want to start off with this to slip knot on your hook. And the camera should be good enough that I should be able to use black yarn, I think. I hope so. You should, still should be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, we're going to start off with a chain of three this time. And you want to slip stitch again into the first stitch to form a ring. 
like that. Chain one. Now we're going to work 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. Okay, I've made it to the end of round one. I have 12 double crochets there. Go ahead and end with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now round two, we will chain one, and then we're gonna go ahead and put one double crochet right there into that very first stitch that we slip stitched into. And I guess the yarn is pretty dark and I apologize. And then we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna double crochet into the next stitch chain one, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, one double into the next stitch, chain one, and that's what we're going to do all the way around, double into the next, chain one, double into the next, chain one, all the way around, till you get back to your starting point. Once you do your last double, make sure you chain one after it, and then we'll end with a slip stitch into our first double crochet. And it's okay if your your piece is starting to flip up. See how mine's kind of flipping up? That's that's fine. Okay, now we're going to chain one, and we're going to put a single crochet right there into that same stitch, and we're going to work a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to single crochet into the top of the next stitch chain four single crochet into the top of the next stitch chain four and that's what we're going to repeat now all the way around this is round three we're working on single crochet into the top of the next stitch chain four, single into the next stitch, chain four, single into the next, and chain four. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning. All right, I'm coming to the end of round three. And I just did my last chain four. Now I'm going to end with a slip stitch into my very first single crochet. And you'll have 12 chain four spaces. Okay, now for round four, we're going to slip stitch one time into our first chain four space. So go ahead and slip stitch right over there. And we're going to chain one. And now we're going to work five single crochets through the chain space. There's five. Now we're just going to jump right over to the next chain space. We're not going to do anything with this stitch. Jump right over into it and work five single crochets into the next chain space. Again, jump over to the next chain space. Five single crochets. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way around. Next chain space, jump right over to it, five single crochets. Next chain space, jump over, five single crochets. So it's just five single crochets in every chain space all the way back to the beginning. 
Okay, I've made it to the end of round four. And you'll still have your 12 chain spaces. Or you'll have a total of 60 single crochets. And you want to end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. And that'll end round four. I got my first one too tight. All right. Now we're going to slip stitch two more times to get to the center of this group of five. So there's one and two. Now we're in the center stitch of these five single crochets. And we're going to chain one, go back into that same spot, single crochet. Now we're going to work a chain of five. Jump, come over here to this next space, single crochet into the center stitch, the center single crochet of this group of five. So one, two, three, this one right here single crochet right into it chain five jump over here to the next chain space and then we single crochet into the center stitch of this group of five one two three so three over is the center stitch Again, chain five, single crochet into the center of the next group of five, and we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the center of your next group of five, chain five, and repeat all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round five and you'll have, I just did five, uh, chain five there. And you wanna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet and you'll have 12 chain spaces now. Like that. Now we're gonna square it off. So what we're going to do is slip stitch right over into the first chain space. This is round six. And we're going to chain one. Now we're going to put a corner of our square right here in this first chain space. So what we're going to do is we're going to work two half double crochets. So there's one and two. And we're going to work one double. One triple then we're going to chain two now we're going to go back into the same chain space and we're going to work one triple one double and two half doubles so that's how we work the corners just like that now I'm gonna just jump right to the next chain five space and I'm gonna work four single crochets right through the space so there's one two three four I'm gonna jump to the next chain five space and work four single crochets one two, three, and four. Now the next chain space is going to be a corner again. So we're going to jump right over into it and we're going to work two half double crochets. So there's one, two, one double, one triple, Chain two, one 
triple. One double and then two half doubles. Just like that. So now you got two corners. I'm just going to kind of repeat that. So we're going to jump at the next chain space here and work four single crochets. There's one, two, three, four. Jump into the next chain space, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and now the next chain space will be the corner. Jump right over into it and work two half doubles, one double, one triple, chain two, one triple, one double, and two half doubles. And now you got your third corner. So we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So it'll get four singles in this chain space, four singles in this chain space, and then your corner. Four single crochets in this chain space, four single crochets into the last chain space, and that's where I'll meet you up at. Okay, I made it to the end of round six, and I'm going to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into my first half double crochet. And you should have 64 stitches. You should have 16 stitches in between each chain two space. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clip that off. And now we want to hide these tails. So I'm going to go ahead and hide them real quick. Okay, now we're going to sew our pieces together. So just kind of straighten them out a bit. They should have the exact same amount of stitches. So we put the black on top of the colored like that. And you want to sew it together with the black. And you can start in any chain uh, two space. So just put the chain two spaces together. Make sure both sides are facing. This is facing right side up. This one's facing right side up. Put them together. Go through both chain two spaces. Now all we're going to do is single crochet it together. So I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work three single crochets in the chain two space. So it's one, two, and three. Now I'm sewing these together. So I want to get the first stitch on the black piece and the first stitch on the back piece here. And single crochet. And then again, the next stitch on the black piece, the next stitch back here on this colored piece and single crochet. The next stitch here, the next stitch on the back piece single crochet and that's all I'm going to do the whole way down until I get to my next chain two space is this match up the stitches and single crochet my piece together like that. Single crochet it all the way down until you get to your next chain two space. Okay I've made it to my next chain two space. Now you should have had a perfect amount of stitches. You shouldn't have any extra on any side. So when we get to our chain two space here we're going to work three single crochets through it. There's one, 
two, three, and then we're just going to continue sewing it or sewing it together by single crochet. Go into that first stitch and the first stitch on the back piece, single crochet, and I'm going to do this all the way around. Matching up my stitches and single crocheting. And then I'll put three single crochets through each of the chain two spaces. You should always have the exact same number of stitches. And then I'm at my chain two space here. Go right through it and work three single crochets. And then I'm just gonna repeat it all the way around. And you can see your piece is starting, it's sewn up. So I'm gonna go complete, I'm gonna keep going all the way around, single crocheting it together. Okay, when you make it all the way around, you wanna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet tie it off hide any remaining tails always give it a little bit of a stretch straighten it out a bit but there's the square pretty cool looking fiddle with it a little bit I always do there we go pretty neat and that is it. That's all there is to it. Here I got some sewed together, making a project with them. <clears throat> so they're about five inches across, I think I said at the beginning. But actually pretty easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget about that auto subscribe button in the description box. And if you make this or anything else, I'd really love to see a picture. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet chat page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Also, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. And until next time, have a good day.